Hey Jessica, so what you want to do is go to screencastify.com and when you get there, um, you're going to click add to Chrome. It's right there. And you will be prompted to the Chrome store and you'll click add to Chrome one more time where mine's going to say already, or sorry, remove from Chrome. Here's what they add. Follow all the prompts. Give it permission to talk to your Google. Give it permission to use your microphone and the annotation tools. Whatever it says, just give it permission to use. It's perfectly safe. Once you have it downloaded, the first time that you click on the Screencastify extension, it's going to ask you to sign in to Google. Go ahead and do that. And then after you have all of those prompts already through, the next time that you click on Screencastify, your icon or your menu will look like this. I always recommend to leave it on desktop. That way, if you go from one tab to another, it's going to pick that up. Make sure your microphone's turned on. If you want a webcam of yourself talking, it'll be right down here in the corner. You could do that. I usually leave that one off. Um, if you are showing slides or something else and you're going to have videos in it, you will need to pick browser tab and go down to show more options and turn on tab audio. Um, this is a very short video, very quick, but I have one that's in more depth. If you need it, just let me know.